The Olympic Peninsula is filled with an incredible variety of different kinds of microclimates. You've got the beach, the rainforest, the river, and then you've got the mountains, the snow, and the steep slopes. For a car, it's an incredible challenge. A park like this shows us just how a healthy ecosystem looks. It's hard to, hard to find examples like this anymore. And you could easily forget that trees get this big if you didn't have a place like this to come see them. The main reason we have such large trees in the northwest is due to the amount of rainfall we get, uh, to 12 to 15 feet on a given year, and that drives a lot of the growth of the vegetation in the area. And it also is the reason that we have so many watersheds, so many streams and rivers that wind their ways through these forests. We just passed a sign that said this road isn't maintained in winter, and you can tell it's it's getting a little bumpy, a little dodgy. The Explorer Sport has four-wheel drive all the time, but you can set a dial to customize the traction specifications for the kind of road that you're on. Right now we're driving on snow through the forest. Just a couple hundred feet up the hill, it's a bright sunny day. This car is like, it's a rugged four-wheel drive vehicle that's really capable of handling a wide variety of terrain. On the outside is covered in mud, on the inside, it's like being in the space shuttle. It's this combination of high technology and just brute force. The beach in the National Park is this really broad, hard-packed sand. And there's a stretch of the beach right next to the National Park, not actually in it, but next to it, where you can drive. And we got so into driving back and forth on the beach that the waves came in. We looked at the GPS and it showed us in the ocean. 